So as I'm sure all of you are well aware of by now, last, what was it, Tuesday night, WWE's backstage show that none of you were watching had some big news, major news, a big time reveal. CM Punk is on a WWE television program. Oh my God, CM Punk is back. CM Punk is back. Oh my God, CM Punk is back. I can't wait for him to wrestle Seth Rollins. I can't wait for him to wrestle AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan. Well, as you know, he's actually a Fox employee. Not under contract to WWE. So there you go. Which, of course, brings all type of conflicting emotions, I suppose. Now, for me personally, this dude's been gone almost six years now. Even if he was coming back and wrestling once in a while, is it really going to help business all that much? Eh. Maybe initially there'd be a little appeal. Maybe initially there'd be a slight movement of the needle. But how much would there really be? Because I think part of the problem is, so you should temper your expectations a little bit, who in the hell do you really have that he could truly feud with? The Fiend would be one. Okay. That would be fresh and new. I'll give you that. And if you want to do something leading up to WrestleMania between The Fiend and CM Punk, I certainly could get down with that. That has the ability to make you some money. That has all types of elements and intrigue there. But when you look at the roster by and large, who would even be the great dance partners for CM Punk? Not sure. The hardcore flips and kicks matter nerds are going to talk about Rollins and AJ Styles. And you're going to talk about, well, you can go to NXT and you can feud with Adam Cole. And, oh, my God, maybe he can even feud with Neil Finn Balor. And maybe they can all form this super intergalactic New Japan Undisputed Era. Pattern. This was to simulate the amount of fapping that some of you would be doing just at the mere thought of that. And it is okay to admit in the comment section of the video that just splooged on your phones or keyboards or tablets just thinking about me talking about it. But let, let, let's take a step back here for a second. We'll see him punk Russell again someday in the WWE. I would say signs point to yes. Because even though he's a Fox employee, the fact that he's even associating himself with wrestling in any way would lead me to believe at some point that something could happen down the road. Sure. Would I expect it to happen right away? Absolutely not. Do I care if it ever happens again? Honestly, not. For some of you that were big CM Punk fans, it certainly would be disappointing, and I totally understand that. I get it. But for me, it wouldn't move mountains one way or another, whether he ever did wrestle or not. I just think it's interesting that now they're bringing him on to this backstage show that's aired a couple of weeks that nobody's watching and expecting him to kind of, frankly, Fox is come save the day. And I got to say this. Not so much this first Tuesday night or whatever, but in future weeks, this is going to be a real measurement of CM Punk's drawing power. Not as a wrestler, but just as a name and as a brand. Because if he significantly moves the needle up on this backstage show, and the viewership goes from 50,000 or 100,000 viewers to 600, 700,000 viewers, then that was something. Sure, that's not massive, massive, but it's something. But in a couple of weeks, if they're back down to drawing 150 or 200,000 viewers, then it just speaks to just how much of a star he really is it. Now, sure, the fact that you air it on a secondary Fox network doesn't help. The fact that you air it that late at night certainly doesn't help either. But if this doesn't move the needle something for you, then I don't know what the hell is going to. But... For all the people that have been chanting and chanting and chanting for him for years and years and years, you got it. CM Punk is back 
affiliated with the company in some way, shape, or form, even if he's not directly under contract to the WWE. You got something. Now, of course, that means that because you got something, even though it's not ideally what you wanted, you're still going to find a way to complain about it. And in particular, you see people talking about CM Punk being a sellout. And now here's my thing. It's easy to talk about somebody being a sellout, knowing damn good and well if we were in the same position and somebody's probably flown us six figures, maybe even seven figures to do something, we're probably going to say, let me sign on the bottom line. You know you would. I certainly hell would. Chris Jericho is going to get a lot of money to take zero bumps. Why would you begrudge him for that? Why would you hate on him for that? Like, if you were ever a fan of his at all, why would you be mad at him for making himself some money, probably some damn good money, and not have to do any bumps and not have to hit the road and do any of that crap? The hell is wrong with you? Sell out my ass! So you were chanting for him when he was gone, but if he had come back on Raw or SmackDown this week on the actual television shows and sat there and attacked somebody, would you then start chanting, so loud, so loud? Then what was the whole hell damn point of chanting his name and being disruptive and destructive and unproductive for the past all six damn years now? Never mind the fact that he's the one that chose to quit. He's the one that chose to walk the hell away. It just makes absolutely no sense. He sold out. Yeah, damn right he sold out, as the hell he should have. And I'll totally defend him and support him for that. And any of you that clown on him for that are morons. Morons. The guy is going to get paid more money than probably the vast majority of the rosters, whether it be Raw, SmackDown, NXT, AEW, no matter. And he's going to take zero bumps. And then if he actually decides he wants to do something with WWE and maybe take a couple of bumps and do the wrestling shtick part-time here and there, then he's going to get seven figures for it. You know what? I salute you because at the end of the day, wrestling is a business. And when you're in business, you were in business for one reason, not to make the world a goddamn better place. You were in the business of making money. So why not cash in after diminishing your own money-making power for several years by leaving and going and playing Fantasy Fighter with the freaking UFC. Why not try to recoup some of those lost earnings in as easy and comfortable a fashion as you possibly can? Like, why would you call the guy a sellout? Sell out for what? You chant for him because you want him back. You know, deep down, you're pissed at him for leaving, although you try to blame the Vince at WWE for it, but I promise you, everybody played a role up to and including Bill Brooks. But now, your end game, he's affiliated with the product in some way, and you're calling him a sellout! <sighs> I won't say only wrestling fans, but it's not just wrestling fans, but... This is something that is typical of wrestling fans. But in the grand scheme of things, I go, you look at this. Is this really that big of a deal? He's going to be on a talk show? Eh. Let's be realistic. The vast majority of you were watching anyways. And even if you do initially, after a few weeks, you'll go right back to not watching again whether CM Punk's on that dang show or not, and you know it. So I just don't envision this being that big of a deal. Could be proven wrong, but I think long-term we know how this is going to play out.